The Duke and Duchess were snapped waving to onlookers from the top of Britain's RAF VIP Voyager jet's steps before jetting off on the next leg of a royal tour which has been beset with controversy. William and Kate were met with days of protests with campaigners in Jamaica calling for reparations for slavery from the royal family. Jamaican Prime Minister Andrew Holness told William and Kate on Wednesday that his country wants to be independent. Russell Myers, royal editor at The Mirror, shared an image of the royal couple waving before their departure on Thursday, tweeting, Goodbye from Jamaica. Perhaps the last time we will see an official royal visit here. William and Kate arrived in Jamaica on Tuesday as part of a week-long tour of former British Caribbean colonies. But their trip sparked public questioning of the British Empire's legacy. Barbados became a republic nearly four months ago, removing the Queen as the sovereign head of state. The couple look set to fly into another slavery storm in the Bahamas with protest groups repeating demands for reparations. In a scathing letter, the Bahamas National Reparations Committee called for slavery reparations ahead of the visit. Committee members said, it is time now for reparatory justice. Speaking during the visit to Jamaica, William echoed the words of the Prince of Wales, describing the slave trade as an appalling atrocity that stains our history. He went on to acknowledge Jamaica's pain, denounced slavery as abhorrent and said it should never have happened. William said, while the pain runs deep, Jamaica continues to forge its future with determination, courage and fortitude. The strength and shared sense of purpose of the Jamaican people, represented in your flag and motto, celebrate an invincible spirit. About a dozen members of Jamaica's Rastafarian community demanded reparations from the royal family when the couple visited a military event near Montego Bay on Thursday. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge bid farewell to Jamaica in an open-backed Land Rover which mirrored Queen Elizabeth in her pomp. William and Kate rode standing up in the red carpet-lined vehicle used by the Queen from the 1960s during tours of the Caribbean country. The couple echoed scenes from a bygone era as they were driven past dignitaries and families who had watched an inaugural commissioning parade for dozens of Caribbean officer cadets. A guard of honour was waiting at the airport to see the royal couple off to the Bahamas, which is the final leg of their week-long Caribbean tour. Thank you.